What's up guys? It's April 5th and we're doing a, this last segment of the shed video doing a wrap up of last year's finds and this year's finds because last year I didn't film or anything so I'll give you last year's finds and this year's find and I'll give you some history that we've gotten with some bucks and before we start I'll, uh, I'll point out some of our key areas uh, uh, so I can make reference to them so we have big area up top uh, all bedding prairie uh, chunks of woods food plots and then we move down to uh, a valley with two food plots and bedding both sides and we got prairie in the bottom we got food plot and then all that is sanctuary because we've got pressure from neighbors so when the oh, as bucks mature they can feel safe in there uh, food driveway more bedding okay okay to start I found this is last year Found this set. This is now my rattling antlers. No brows. Uh, I don't know where this deer went. So, um, next, we got. I think it might have been this one. Uh, found this in our sanctuary. Uh, you know, early March. Never got a picture of this deer. Nice brow, just probably a two-year-old. Um, then we got this one. Uh, got a few pictures of this deer, but these are all we found this or last year because you know mostly because I was walking around in our best areas a lot before all the deer was shed. But uh, these are all last year's. Well. And then there was summer. Uh, actually, before summer, we went different property. Found this old one. Uh, another old one. I didn't bring it out. This old deadhead. Um, you know, nice ten pointer, really old. And we got. Let's see. This one I found in September after we tilled our food plot, just laying on top. And then found this one in July. Uh, just walking around. So now it brings us to this year. So start off, we got uh, first shed was actually this one. Nice three year old who showed up during the rut or me and him were hunting and he came out in front of us. Um, it's actually this same deer. Same characteristics, long beam, same brow tine, you know, whatever. Um, there's, this guy's other side was completely broken off, so it would be tough to find this other side. And then we got we found this one right before we went to a wild game. Still got the blood on it. This was early February. Long beam. Um, then we had this little set. Nothing much. Had this buck. Uh, when I was coming back from one of our stands, he was running along our driveway and I just stopped and took a little bit of video. But uh, what's cool about this this set, I found them up at our hay bales, but I, I had pictures of him down there with this side still on and this side still off, which means he went up to the hay bales, dropped this side, went down, whatever, came back up and dropped them about three feet apart different times. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then, you actually got them in the same picture. Mm-hmm. And then we got, or sorry, 
found this one last year. This big six point alongside of the road back there. Uh, you know, not an area where I'd get pictures of them because it was long side of the road a couple miles that way. Just laying in some grass. So, scored them at about 70. Um, and then, and then we started our big shed hunt. We started off with this one. Um, this deer, I, I'm not really sure what deer it is, but it could be a big nine point ahead at different different encounters with that I only have one picture of. It's pretty chewed, so uh, nice deer. He's got a broken brow. I'd guess him to be three or four. Um, so, anyways, and then and then we found this one. This is a buck called, we call Splitter. Big. He's a big 11 pointer. Um, Our sister Jamie got an encounter with him and um, he was actually. No, that was a different deer. Oh. Um, anyways, I uh, just started getting pictures of this deer in October, but he's got mass that goes through his, you know, all through his tines. Not really super mass on the beam, but, you know, it's. Thick, big base, you know, nice deer. And then, the other side. Michael found this one. Yeah. About 50 feet? 50 yards? 50 yards away. Um, about two minutes after we found this side, you know, laying in our sanctuary, like we said before, where a mature deer can be without getting disturbed. Um, so yeah, right in the middle of our sanctuary. So I think this deer would be five. I you know, who knows? But anyways, Must be we were really happy when we found these. Okay, and then we came up to the top of the cornfield and in between the bales was the other side to this one. Yep. Uh, just a. Big beamed nine point. We actually came up to our bird feeders one night with a bunch of does. Um, I actually started getting pictures of this deer like early, mid December. Actually, I got one picture of him during the rut, but that's it. Um, yeah, but got both of his sheds. This one's kind of bleached out because it was sitting in the okay. sun after the snow melted. Melt. Okay. And then we found. This one at our um the other hay bale the other hay bale we were walking to at the end of it it was sticking out of the mud so we kind of had to I mean pull it out of the mud and it's really weird deer because the brow tine I'm actually not sure if that's a brow tine or not because it's it's on the base. Anyways, I I've never gotten a picture of this deer stuck in the mud about this far in. Uh, I don't know how it'd sit. I think it'd sit like this. But I have no idea. It's goof. Um, then we got this one. Tommy found this one. Deer I've passed a couple times. Um, just a little narrow six point. Basically the same on the other side. Um, I don't know. Then we got Michael found this one mm -hmm. about you know, five minutes later, back in bedding over there. Um, next shed we found was this one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, actually, before we found this little dead buck on a different property, yeah. uh, just a five pointer, nothing real special. Um, found. This one, he's got some bone, little nub, so just a little three point. Mm, nothing special. Uh, the only old one we found this year. It's super chewed. Old and green. And then, 
might go file on the other side to this one. Uh, let's see, this side was over there. Yeah. This yeah. side was over there. Yeah. Uh, so it was probably half a mile away. So we got we kind of stumbled upon it after we just walked by it. Yeah. But uh. Anyways, last shed is this one. You know, just a little four point. Decided to do just one more walk through sanctuary. Found this little one. Um, and one more thing. So back to this deer. Um, never getting a picture of him last year. This year, got one velvet picture of him. He's substantially bigger. Same big brows, tines, he's got mass. Uh, you can see, or I recognize him, because well, I didn't recognize him from last year. He's got beams that kind of go up. And he's got, um, well, in this year he had a little, like, droop right here. But actually, we have his, uh, one of his sides from this year, but... Uh, my dad actually ran it over with the corn mower. You see, you can see this dip right here. But, I mean, this is a big three-year-old deer. Or, that's what I think him to be. Um, you know, big brows. I've got a bunch of other chunks of him. Nothing I could really put together. Except for something right here. Got a little uh, point off his base that I found with it. Um... It just, I think this deer is dropping early because I've never, I've gotten one trail cam picture in velvet, one trail cam picture in the rut from far away. But he must have dropped early because he must have been under the snow. Probably same with this one because I walked by this shed, but it was probably under snow. So hopefully we can get all these bucks on trail camera next year and, uh, and, uh, Next video, probably going to be a duck hunting video we've been waiting f to like put together uh, in North Dakota, just filmed with GoPros. Well, we're just trying to figure, we're just figuring this stuff out, but one last deer is this dead buck we found. He's got, well actually, my I had found a picture of him on our computer that we took when we found him, but we never came back to recover him. Um, bladed, split, split, inside point, split, this was broken off, and then the rest was basically the same except for one other point. But, uh, I think this deer to be two or three year old, and he would have been big. Big. Okay, so, that about wraps this up for all this. Shed hunting. Shed hunting and all that. So, um, found 18 this year. Found 7 last year. So, we'll catch you on our next video. Thanks for watching. Yep.